Hi everyone, it's Heidi from flutterbyheidi.wordpress.com back again here with another Ferrero Friday project and this time it's a cute little Christmas tree for your dining table or for a co-worker's desk or something like that and as you can see here we've just got a pretty little tree tis the season on the front and then oh Christmas treat on the back and inside of course is a Ferrero Rocher and we're just using the um, trunks of these Christmas trees just to slot in um, around that Ferrero. So um, first thing we need to do then is make the box base and um, what I'm using uh, is Emerald Envy cardstock and what you need is a piece of card that is three and one eighth by three and one eighth so that's eight by eight centimeters and on all four sides you're going to score at three eighths and then at seven eighths. So that is at uh, one centimeter and 2.2 centimeters. Okay, so repeat again three eighths and seven. And so do that. And basically, what we're doing is making a, a, a re, in, an, um, an inverted sort of reinforced lid. Redo that three eighth. It looks a bit skew if. Pop your trimmer away and then just fold and burnish those four score lines. Then you're going to need to get your paper snips out and we're going to cut away on all four sides those out of three squares. So we can angle the first one like so. And these are these little snips. I don't know what I did without but these paper snips. They really are so useful and they are so sharp right to the very point. I've had numerous pairs of craft scissors in the past but till, once I got these stamping up ones I'm uh, never going back. So once you've done that just cut the little tabs out uh, all the way around okay and um, just as we've done before we're doing like it's almost like a pinwheel kind of shape just going around clockwise and cutting it in the same orientation on each one and that gives us a nice regular shape on our box. So then flip it over and we're just going to put some fuse, she says hopefully. I've managed to get my fuse gunged up. There we go. Fuse on the tab and it's just that outer strip. So on the tab and there and the tab again. And then all you're going to do is just fold up four sides like so and then fold in of four edges and then just give those a good old rub with your scorer and there you have it. So that's just big enough for a Ferrero and then to make um, the Christmas tree you're going to use or I'm, I used these Perfect Pines framelits and there are three sides to Christmas tree in there and I'm using the largest one and these are so pretty. I was going, I'm going to have a go at making one with a tea light because you can punch out, die cut out some little shapes there and they put holes in and this one does sort of holes for strings of lights. Really, really pretty and they coordinate with this stamp set which is called Peaceful Pines which again has got some really nice sentiments and some lovely trees in different sizes so you can do a layered look. So four die cut trees out of Emerald Envy. My die away before I misplace it, which I did earlier and it was hiding in some paper. And then um, back to trusty piercing, piercing mat, die cut tree and a ruler. And what you're actually going to do is just measure in on either side around about a quarter of an inch and just literally from the tip down to the bottom 
and you're going to score on the reverse because that's where we're going to be folding of all four, four of these trees. It doesn't have to be, I mean you can make it really precise um, but it, you know, it depends how many you're making. Um, you know, if, if, if I'm I was making, you know, they're, they're the sort of thing that best in the world, you know, they'll be on the Christmas on the Christmas table, but then um, thereafter, you know, they're not going to be kept about in all probability. So, um, you know, I don't get too precious about these things. And then once you've done that, just very gently fold along those crease lines. See, the reason you score on the reverse is because that's where it stretches the fibres of the card, which obviously then means it, it makes a nice, uh, a nice crease. And then the last one. Oh, did a very good job on the die cutting on that one. I managed to cut the tip off. So once those are done, just reinforce. So you've got four trees like so and now what we want to do is cut our DSP to just pop it in there and if you take a piece of um, DSP like this that is one and a quarter inches uh, wide by two and one eighth long um, so that is um, five and a half centimetres by 3.1 centimetres and just take a pen I've got a, an erasable one here, and you're going to mark a point just halfway along. I've just made just there. Measure five eighths of an inch. Then take some big scissors and just cut from that mark down to the corner, like so. And then you've got just a, a nice diamond um, diamond triangle to go on to go on the front there. And then all you're going to do is come in with um, your tape runner or some wet glue and um, adhere that onto your cardstock. Or at least I would if I could find that. Yeah, okay. So, just going to do that. So I use some snail. Or, there we go, like so. remaining two pieces as well. Oh, I'm just realising off camera for that, apologies. And then last one and just pop that in there as well. So we've got four of our little trees and then if you just take a scrap of card and Literally, just you know, I, I keep all my off cuts in a, in a in a bag here. So just a piece of, of scrap of whisper white, and then using one of these stamps, this one here, it's the, the Oh Christmas Treat. Just tap over there, and you'll see that. Um, stamps out really nicely and while you've got the ink pad out as well, she said before putting it away, I've got the Tis the Season sentiment as well. So what I'm going to do now is punch that out with my one inch punch which just fits it beautifully. I'm going to punch with uh, the one and a quarter inch and another circle. And by now, this is now reasonably dry, and I'm just going to take my scissors and literally just come down there.
tiny little shave off there. And then that can literally just adhere to one of your panels at the bottom there. And this again is just a quick pop onto a die cut circle. And then in with a dimensional on the back there. So all that's left now is for us to assemble our box. So I'm actually going to use some wet glue. So if you get your Tombow or any other um, wet glue that you prefer, and literally just come down on the edge there, like so. And on the other side. And you do that on two of them. And you'll see I'm just leaving it to one side just to sort of set a little bit because uh, that just helps um, helps it be a little bit tacky. And then all you do is just line up those two die cuts. And if you've got one, well, just wipe any excess away, bring our other one in. There's a die cut. And then the last one. Yeah, if you do that, just reinforce. You see, I'm just opening out there and just reinforcing those creases. And then all we need to do is attach our fourth one. the gap. Always useful to have a wet wipe handy for this bit in case you get a little bit of glue on your fingers. There you go. So there's our little Christmas tree. All we need now is our Ferrero. So pop our Ferrero in our box. Take our dimensional off there and pop it opposite And then all you do is just slot those little legs around your Ferrero and there is a little cute Christmas tree ready to adorn the table. I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, don't forget if you need any Stampin' Up! supplies or if you have any questions don't hesitate to contact me and uh, please place your order using the link below to my online shop. Thanks for watching. Come back again soon. Bye for now.